Ryan, what are you doing? I'm getting ready to grind up all this meat. With that? Yeah, it's an old-fashioned meat grinder, and the other day I used it, and it took me about an hour to grind up three pounds worth. I figured if I start now, we might be done before bedtime. Oh, um, honey, put that thing down. L.E.M. countertop meat grinder? Where did this come from? Well? Well, Ryan, after our dear friends Katie and Paul witnessed you struggling for an hour, grinding and grinding and grinding to get three pounds of deer meat into a ground form, I think they felt a little bad for us. <laughs> the next morning, they snuck out and got us a present. This bad boy right here. So that we could be more self-sufficient with our sustainable food journey. With the venison that you harvested from our own property and grinding it ourselves, we're saving our money and we're saving our time and we're able to eat healthy food for our family. So wait, taking a whole hour to grind three pounds, that's not normal? That's struggling? Well, this will do three pounds in one minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you ready? You want to see how easy it is? <laughs> let's let's see how easy it is. All right. <laughs> we've got two two gallon bags of trim that we've harvested off of one aged deer and one deer that um he just got. So. Let's see. Your hands are clean, right? You're My hands are washed and ready. Washed and sanitized the parts. Washed and sanitized our hands, so we're ready to go. All right. So uh, what? Are we load it up first and then turn it on, or turn it on and then load it? I think you're supposed to turn it on and then start adding. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I mean, I knew it was gonna be faster. I'm not, I'm not that slow. I, I, I knew it was gonna be faster, but that fast, living up to your claim of three pounds in a minute. I think this is more than three pounds. Um, and we only did it for a minute. We filled this big, huge bowl, y'all. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. This is so awesome. I, I can't believe it. Thank you so much. Again, I'm gonna have to say that probably 30 more times. Probably every time I use this thing, I'm gonna be thanking Katie and Paul from Butcher Baker and the Queso Maker. Wow, wonderful people, and this is, this is fabulous. Blessing. Yeah, this is. True blessing. So the first grind we do on the coarse ground, and then if we need to grind it again, which it doesn't really look like it really needs it, we could do it again through a fine grind too. And maybe for certain things we would want to do a fine grind, but yeah. this looks fine for chili and burgers and like maybe, almost anything. Maybe when you want to make your sausage, we would run it through on the small setting and, and then it'd be finer, mix it up with your herbs and stuff to make your sausage. But for ground venison, uh, I could see making patties out of that. I could see making chili out of that. Oh, I, I can't wait. Ah. We're going to be eating good this winter, aren't we? incredible this is this is a really really awesome tool um, this turned into a product review I guess of sorts so uh, <laughs> props to LEM for making a really cool product that that really works and saves me a ton of time this is I'm speechless it's still light outside <laughs> 
I just want to say a huge, huge, huge props to the butcher, the baker, and the queso maker. Go check out their YouTube channel. Check out their Facebook page. Check them out on Instagram. Follow them along. They've been amazing and, like, totally gracious hosts to us while they stayed here. I know. So <laughs> it's a really awesome feeling to meet people who are so kind and generous and also totally down to earth and fun, too. We had a lot of fun with them. So thank you, guys, and we hope you come back to Georgia really soon. I think they will. I, think, I, I hope so. I think Paul wants to move to Noonan. Maybe. I think so. Be like, we'd be twinning all the time wearing our, our, our overalls. Duck, duck cotton durable overalls. <laughs> well, after one hour of work, we didn't get just three pounds ground. We got 21 pounds ground. And of that 21, three of those pounds are ground through the fine blade so we could test it out and see the difference between the two. And they're all wrapped and ready to go in the fridge for the second layer of wrap for the freezer. Wow, what a great piece of equipment. I just want to give another huge shout out to the butcher, the baker, and the queso maker and thank them again for this wonderful gift that's going to benefit our family for a lifetime. Really, really appreciate it and boy do we feel like we have better food security now to be able to grind our own meat from our own property and have plenty of food for the future. Thank you for watching Wholesome Roots.